In this section, we're going to implement a way of modeling a new type of element or a variation on our standard 12 degree of freedom beam element. So this is going to be a beam element with a pin uh, with some rotational releases at node I or at node J. Now these pins, as I say, are going to release major and minor axis bending at their respective node. Now I've chosen to not release the torsional moment and so we can still, even if we have a pin at node I or J, we can still develop a torsional moment at that node uh, about the local x-axis. But if you want to modify your solver to take into account a, a release, a torsional release uh, at a pin, well then by all means you can go ahead and do that and you won't have any trouble doing that after you've completed this section. Now, practically speaking, we, we need to have this kind of functionality in our solver because it, it could be the case, and it's very often the case, that if you're modeling a, a, a 3D structure, you're modeling any kind of structure, you'll often have have elements within that structure where the connection, let's say a beam for example, the connection between the beam and the column it connects into isn't a moment resisting connection or it's not designed to be a moment resisting connection. So a classic example of this would be a beam that connects into a column, frames into a column with a, a simple uh, shear plate, a simple fin plate shear connection. Now we wouldn't want to design that element and we certainly wouldn't want to model the element as transmitting moment between the beam and the column. And so we need a way of releasing or, or not allowing, if you like, moment to develop at that location. And so after we complete this section, we'll have built in the functionality to build those releases, those rotational releases into our models. So in the next lecture, we're going to take a closer look at the actual stiffness matrix that we use to model these pinned beam elements. So it's going to be a 10 by 10 stiffness matrix. So we'll dig into that a little bit in the next lecture. Then after that, we'll jump back over to Blender where we're going to identify the location of some pins within our portal frame structure and we'll write a script a very similar to all the scripts we've written up until now uh, we'll write a script that just exports the this location information to a CSV file so we can bring it into our solver and um, then once we have all the pinned members defined within our solver we can go ahead and build the relevant stiffness matrix for these pinned elements and then build those into into the larger primary stiffness matrix that models the whole structure. And uh, once we've got that done, well, then we can proceed and solve the structure as normal. And, uh, well, that will wrap up uh, the implementation of this feature. So um, not a difficult feature to implement this one. I think we'll manage to get through it fairly easily, um, building on what we'll have done previously for 2D structures, of course. And so, uh, yeah, we shouldn't find this one too difficult. So we can just crack on with this one now.